Hi, I'm Bhupesh and I'm doing my ME Automotive Engineering and now I'll be telling how to interlink the state space model and MATLAB. So first we'll see what is a state space. So state space is generally used. It is similar to that of finding a transfer function but it's far away different. Here um, the parameters like resistance capacitance that is taken in as an example of this electrical system uh, they affect the particular system so they can be studied in detail and all the higher order differential equation can be converted into lower order differential equation that is a major objective of state space and everything is represented in terms of matrix so that uh, it will be easy to solve the particular problem and we can easily understand what are the parameters that is affecting the system for example uh, state space equation is written as x dot is actually equal to a into x plus b into u where x dot is the state space variable and dot represents that it is a first order equation that is it is differentiated for one time and a are the parameter a is a matrix which is representing the uh, parameters that affects the state space variables that is Resistance capacitance affects the particular system. So that is what is actually present here and these are the parameters that affect the output. So output of the system is taken as u. So and state space is not written alone. It is written along with the output equation which is represented as y is equal to cx plus du where c is a matrix and d is also another matrix and this is the output equation representation. So uh, Generally, in order to find a transfer function of an electrical system, we'll be applying either KVL or KCL. And here, resistance capacitance. So we are going to apply that particular thing in the Kirchhoff's current law. So Kirchhoff's current law operates at nodes. So and it, um, by taking nodes, we uh, uh, use uh, Kirchhoff's current law. That is, um, incoming current is actually equal to outgoing current. Similarly, we are using that thing. And here. Uh, there is a supply or there is no supply voltage in node 1 and uh, hence zero is present on the right hand side and in the case of node 2 there is a supply voltage and that's the reason why we are actually have this is the input I mean in incoming current so that's the reason why we have the FT by R on right hand side and similarly for this resistance will be get it will be like V2 of T by R and for that is written here and for this resistance it's like v2 of t minus v1 of t divided by r it's written here and c into t v2 divided by dt similarly for node 1 equation it will like v1 of t minus v2 of t divided by r for this r is written here and for c into dv of, dv of t divided by dt so here uh, we are going to convert the particular variables into state variables so state variables in electrical system are represented only for the differential equation that is here voltage is differentiated so we are going to take v1 is equal to x1 v2 is equal to x2 whereas in mechanical system the displacement or distance x will be this will be used for differentiation so that it will be written as the displacement as the state variables so and in oh, output voltage is uh, i mean supply voltage is uh, v of t so it is represent, represented as u and when we substitute all these values in equation 1 and 2, we'll get equation 3 and 4. Since V1 of V1 dV1 by dt, I mean V1 is nothing but x1. When you differentiate x1, that is dx1 divided by dt, we'll get V1. So that is represented as x dot in here. And similarly for dV2 divided by dt as x2 dot. So we get equation 5 and equation 6 because we take this x1 dot and x2 dot on left hand side because we have to obtain the state equations in this format ax plus pu is actually equal to x dot so now we are going to convert equation 5 and 6 in the form of matrix format so when you uh, just substitute the uh, x1 dot coefficient in here and x2 dot coefficient in here similarly for this equation 6 also the same there is no u term the input voltage for equation 5 so we take it as zero so similarly uh, the output equation is present in v1 of t v1 of t is none other than the x1 so this is written as x1 so there is no x2 there is no u so we are going to take it as 1 0 x1 x2 and 
zero u zero u zero into u so this is called as the state space model of an electrical system so uh, the transfer function can also be found out in the similar manner but uh, state space to transfer function is a different topic it is actually derived and obtained so while deriving they used to convert the t domain into s domain that's the reason why s is present and i is none other than the identity matrix and here there's a tricky part that is inverse so uh, generally inverse means it's one to be determinant of a into adjoint of a that is the matrix corresponding a matrix i just taken as this particular matrix and this uh, a b d c are taken from here a b d c so when you substitute you get these equations so for finding a joint it's pretty simple just interchange these two elements and multiply by these three elements multiply minus sign by these two elements that is interchange a11 and a22 and my multiply by multiply minus to a12 and a21 so we get this uh, transfer function for this equation that is equation 9 and finally uh, I wanted to check if the transfer function is right or wrong, so I used the regular method to find the transfer function. The tricky part in the regular method is v1 of t to by v of t, that is, this is the Laplace transform of output to that of input, but v2 of t should be represented in terms of v1 of t, that is what is done here, and when we substitute it, we get it as this equation as transfer function, so this is similar to that of the equation 9. So this proves that my transfer function is correct. So, how to apply this thing in the MATLAB? So, in MATLAB, we can easily find the value of transfer function for this uh, system by just simply knowing this uh, two equation that is 7 and 8. So, I'm going to assume this as matrix A, this is matrix B, matrix C, and matrix D in MATLAB. I'm going to define it. So, defining it uh, means you have to set the values of R and C. So I'll be setting in uh, for uh, just for an example. I'll be taking R value as one ohm, capacitance one uh, farad, and uh, uh, that those are the variables that is available here. So that's it. So minus one, 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 minus two are the A matrices uh, variables present in A matrix. So let me go to MATLAB. So here I have already defined it. Clear CLC is for clearing the particular so called screen, and I am assigning A matrix as minus 1 and 1, and then 1 and minus 2. Similarly, for uh, the B matrix, is 0 and 1 because R and C, of course, I have told you uh, it is just 1, so 1 by 1 into 1 is nothing but 1, so 1, 0 and 1. This is 1, 0, and 0. So I'm taking it as 0 and 1. So the semicolon represents that it goes to the next row. And here, 1 and 0 is present for C matrix. That is what is given there. But uh, according to MATLAB, when you don't insert these two zeros, that is second row, then it will not multiply with D. It will state an error. For example, let me do this. Um, I'm taking it as just 1 and 0 as given in the equation sorry and this is the D matrix 0 0 that is what is given here it's D 0 0 0 2 cross 1 matrix and 1 0 uh, if I just wrote this 0 because all the values are 0 so just 0 so uh, but it's actually 2 cross 1 matrix so here we go for two cross one matrix and this is the actual representation of um, uh, space state state space so this is system and this is the state space function i'm inserting all these matrices inside it and it will generate the state space equation that is yeah uh, state space equation and then this is the transfer function equation so when you just simply feed these values in this transfer function we can easily obtain the value of transfer function so let me show this uh, I'm gonna run this it will be showing an error because as I've told you 
uh, C and D should have equal number of rows so that's the reason why I'm putting semicolon here and adding 0 0 and now if we run we'll get the values perfectly as expected so here this is the A matrix B matrix and C matrix and D matrix so continuous time space model so it has created a space state space model that is the state equation and this is none other than the uh, transfer function of the system so uh, in order to find the transfer function of the system from uh, state space model we can use MATLAB in order to calculate it because uh, I've taken R value as 1 C value as 1 so when you substitute these things we will get as 1 divided by um, S square plus 3 S plus 1 so here also you will be getting the same S 1 divided by S square plus 3 S plus 1 so let's see the result that is obtained from MATLAB yes so 1 divided by S square plus 3 S plus 1 is the obtained value so this is how we interlink MATLAB and in order to uh, when we are solving some problems you can check it via MATLAB with the help of this tool that is SS and TF this is for creating the space state and this is for finding the transfer function so if you wanted to like uh, simulate this in MATLAB you have to go to home click simulink button and go to a blank model so I'm gonna take an input source as the step signal and a transfer function and a scope so so this transfer function it's none other than the thing that is actually present here s square plus 3s plus 1 so that is how we are going to input it so it's if it is s square plus 3s plus 1 it's going to be like of course this is the s square plus 3 s plus 1 so when you give apply gets converted as so this is not clearly visible so you can enlarge it so we get s square plus 3s plus 1 so step signal I'm going to put the final value as 5 volts for example and run it so this is my obtained equation so this is, this is how we find the transfer function and output graph for the given space state model using MATLAB. Thank you.